Happy Sabbath to everyone. Uh, thank you for the wonderful message of the song. Um, before we begin, um, let us bow our heads for a uh, short prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for the wonderful day. And uh, we pray that the message that you will bring to us uh, would uh, enlighten our thoughts to view uh, ourselves in, uh, according to your ways. And thank you for loving us and, and, um, and listening to our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, the, uh, the title of the today's uh, uh, sermon will be about uh, will be uh, the the illustration of freedom. Uh, it begins with the question: What does the Bible say about the freedom? Uh, when we talk about freedom, it has uh, a huge uh, concept in all uh, in our worldview. We, uh, we witness, we see uh, the news uh, that the, there are uh, people in some countries who have limited the uh, amount of freedom uh, of movements, just like what, have, uh, what is still happening in Israel and uh, Palestine. Uh, moreover, uh, there is a sense of freedom uh, when it comes to uh, the things that we express, like the uh, freedom of speech, when we say our opinions, our thoughts, and our perceptions about uh, how we view the world. Uh, when it comes to the biblical uh, uh, view of uh, freedom, um, we think that uh, it all began from the time when Adam and Eve uh, existed to the world, uh, God uh, uh, told a message to them um, based in Genesis uh, 2 verse 16 to 17. Uh, you are free to eat any, uh, from any tree in the garden, yet uh, there is a restriction or warning that uh, he said, but, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good, good and evil. For when you are uh, you eat from it, you will surely die. So, and so in uh, so in short, uh, we uh, uh, our first parents have failed to do so. And fell it fell short. Uh, that led us to uh, to be to brought uh, to be brought uh, uh, that in the, into the world. Then there is a moment in time that uh, God uh, desires uh, us to be free, uh, free from control. One of the ex uh, the excellent examples uh, during. Uh, those times back in the Old Testament was the time when uh, the Israelites was uh, were being controlled by the Egyptians. Uh, God uh, sent a uh, uh, message to Pharaoh through Moses, uh, saying, "Let my people go." He uh, he sent the, uh, that message several times before. Uh, Pharaoh complied to that message. Uh, the essence of freedom back in the uh, Old Testament showed that uh, God instructed uh, every uh, generation to practice the proper way of living 
or with the, with his presence. However, they overstepped that line of freedom. In fact, they um, they had um, false worship and uh, did the un the unthinkable. So when it comes to freedom um, during the time of uh, uh, Jesus, um, God uh, gave um, His Son into the world to save us from the bondage of sin. Uh, it is stated in uh, John 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We are so truly grateful that uh, we uh, have been offered the uh, uh, free gift of salvation that God uh, gave them. In order for us to, con to have a steadfast connection with Him and uh, to strengthen the faith that we are living in. So, the next part is the, the freedom from sin. Well, um, if one of us um, is being given a chance to, be, uh, to free ourselves from sin, God has given the, the, the kind of choice and the and the freedom to to renew ourselves and to renew our, everything that that we have in our own self. So when it comes to the uh, freedom for the lost burden, um, uh, during the time of Jesus' uh, existence. Uh, the religious uh, leaders uh, um, heavily imposed the uh, laws which uh, uh, create the bondage to the to those who practice the faith. Instead of having the free uh, choice, free decision to uh, to serve the Lord or to observe the Sabbath, or to observe the law, uh, they, uh, the religious leaders tended to uh, follow the law step by step. Um, until there is a time when Jesus uh, sacrificed his life for, for you and me. As a, uh, moreover, Apostle Paul uh, Share a message that said in Galatians 5 verse 1. It said, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourself be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. Um, there are six important notes from about freedom. Uh, take note in uh, you have a pen and a paper. Uh, the six important notes about freedom. One, freedom to show kindness and compassion. When we talk about the kindness and the compassion, uh, we talk about uh, how we treat people well and how we um, view the situation. How we understand how and how uh, people live. Uh, there is a caution still about showing uh, love and compassion when people um, uh, might uh, overstep your kindness and compassion. Do not show much of that. Just keep observe. Uh, yourself 
onto the situations that uh, uh, people sincerely live in. So the kindness that we show can be genuine when there is a character coming from Christ. So number two, freedom to appreciate life. In this, uh, in this day, uh, we we have the freedom either to uh, appreciate or not to appreciate life. However, uh, most of us uh, easily get uh, emotionally down or emotionally distressed or emotionally broken down when when challenges suddenly come to us that we lose our freedom to appreciate what uh, blessings that God gave to us through uh, each day of our lives. Number three, freedom to mend the, the personal relationship with God. So, every one of us uh, falls short to this part, uh, including me. There are uh, times that we uh, tend not to mend the relationship when we feel ourselves distracted from the things that we touch, the things that we see, and the things that we hear. We tend to be forgetful that we, we, still, we must have time to look for God. We must uh, obtain a steadfast relationship by um, setting a free time for him uh, to, to serve him with all our hearts. Number four, freedom to rely on God's guidance. Uh, when it comes to our uh, situation, we tend to be like, we can do this without without God's help. Some there are times in our lives that uh, we would be like we can we can think like this, we can do like this, we can we can speak whatever we would speak without uh, considering that there is a guidance from from God. Yeah, when we don't have anything choice left, and that is the <laughs> that is the true uh, reality, we tend to uh, draw near to God for guidance. So the number five is freedom to um, to address the importance of God's word to our loved ones and to ourselves. So. Each one of us have, has the freedom to express um, the important part why we study the Bible, why we share the important uh, message which will be relatable to, to how we feel, to how we um, um, stay in that position and um, how we uh, base our decisions. So for example, if, uh, if there is um, a verse in the Bible that, say, that says about love, so we can share about something about love to, not only to ourselves, but to, but to our loved ones. But uh, when we share um, messages from the Bible, it uh, can give us the comfort and assurance that there is God um, existing in our lives. So, and then the last important note about freedom is freedom to nurture talents from God uh, that God entrusts us. Every person has a talent, a talent to uh, 
to be shared. Not all people can have the same talent as we do or as they do. Not all people can, uh, can say, not all people can, can share a message. Even a little gesture of talent can be considered as a talent. A smile can be a talent, a handshake can be a talent, and um, showing generosity can also be a, a trace of talent. A caution about freedom. So there is a context in the Bible that uh, that gives the caution about freedom. It is said in Galatians 5 verse 30, You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. So, in this context of uh, memory verse, we must not overstep or abuse too much the about the freedom that we obtain by committing that can can be uh, uh, can be awful or horrifying or or morally wrong in the long term but we uh, have and must serve one another in love so we do uh, the way that we serve as well as to serve the Lord with the sense of compassion and uh, the sense of generosity to give your uh, give time even though it will be uh, a little time God doesn't ask uh, too much of our of our time yes uh, it is important for each and every one of us to remain connected to to remain strong towards the relationship with him moreover we must exercise self-control first off we have to be like observe things like is it wrong or is it right we have to decide every day is it wrong or is it right that uh, I should, uh, we should do this or not? So the freedom is uh, uh, there. And the, there is no justification or excuse that, that, uh, the, that Christ that provided for us. As uh, each one of us might be committing sin. Well, it is saying that in 1 Peter 2 verse 16, live as a free people, but do not use your freedom as a cover up for evil. Live as a God, uh, live as God says. So, uh, we remain ourselves free, but never to turn yourselves to uh, too much on to doing uh, doing and committing the the freedom into the wrong wrong use wrong uh, purpose that, that, that might jeopardize or ruin the the moral standing that each and one of us uh, obtain or have. So there is a context. 
context in the Bible that said that Jesus um, for Jesus forgave the woman who had taken in uh, adultery. He told her, uh, he said, "Go and sin no more." Uh, the context is in John eight, the verse eleven. There is a context. With, uh, there are context of words that say, uh, "Go" defines freedom, and the words "sin no more" define responsibility or duty as a person. So uh, this duty that Jesus uh, portrayed or conveyed to each and every one of us signifies that uh, we, uh, as much as possible, we have to step away from uh, the old paths that we once stepped in. So the conclusion, Uh, true 